And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 10th of August 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, with you to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at what's come across the news wires today. Of course, overnight we had a last hour sell off in the US, which pulled all major indices to the downside. They were already looking a little shaky. Bottom line is that investor concerns about the bank rate and downgrades are still part of the narrative. And of course, we've got that big CPI number tonight. So there's a bit of caution prior to that release. US futures, however, are positive in the Asian session after good after hours earnings, particularly from Walt Disney. To go DIS if you want to go and have a look, but it was up in excess of 3% in after hours trading at one stage. Asian markets are mixed in early trading. ASX is managing to hold on to small gains of around about 0.15% where it's been for a lot of the trading session at this stage. European futures are pointing to a slightly higher open and the VIX remains near historically low levels, dropping slightly again yesterday after last week's spike up. The US dollar index was quite choppy yesterday, finished near neutral. As a result, gold dropped again, May test 1900, if we see some US dollar strength subsequent to that CPI number tonight. Copper dropped test key levels as well, but seems to be managing to hold 380. But oil continues its run higher, breached the resistance level, is now nine month highs. Bitcoin remains range bound between 29 and 30,000. And earnings continue, of course, but tonight it's all about the US CPI and weekly jobs data that is released an hour before equity market open on this side of the world we did see australian consumer expectations drop from last month's number and likewise with the japanese ppi but it was still with the latter slightly higher than expected just a couple of charts that caught our eye today uh, the aussie yen is looking really strong we've breached this r1 pivot 94.12 and looking good to move up to 94.40 in the first instance where there's enough momentum to take it through that and up to 94.70 remains to be seen of course uh, i suspect we may get stuck around this 94.60 level uh, but worthwhile having a look at this on that breach with the asx we're going to be cautious of course at this stage because we are in the midst of asx earnings season so just check in on any stocks that you're having a look at but paladin energy is benefiting from that move up in the energy sector generally and you can see there we are at highs not seen since january uh, look as though we could be up to test that 85 and a half if we just pull this back a little bit you can see the significance of that next level so we may get stuck there in the first instance around 85 86 but there's a potential move up towards that critical dollar level on the cards if this uptrend which has been in place since the beginning of march continues trade safe and we'll see you again soon Bye-bye for now.